Are you ready to make a smart investment move with Carvana stock? Get ready for an in-depth look into Carvana. Our initial report was released on our website on Thursday, October 5, 2023, but now we're here to take it even further and provide you with a comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our latest insights. Missing out on vital updates that could impact your investments is the last thing you want. Supercharge your trading decisions with our cutting-edge AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Unlock the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and comprehensive analysis for any of the 25,000 global companies today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Brace yourselves. Since the exciting date of October 5, 2023, our powerful system has ranked none other than Carvana as a sell candidate. Yes, you heard it right, Carvana is in the spotlight with a score of minus 3.04. Hold on tight as we dive into the thrilling details of Carvana's stock performance during this very period. Get ready for a wild ride. But the story doesn't end here. We won't leave you hanging. We will be closely monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. Stay tuned, because there's more excitement to come. Picture this, the stock lies in the middle of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term, indicating exciting possibilities for further growth. Brace yourself for a potential 9.61% change over the next three months, with a thrilling range of returns between minus 10.07% and 74.91%. But that's not all. The 12-month trend suggests an astonishing 235.79% change, with a potential return between 130.78% and 447.91%. Imagine the price soaring from $82.48 to $195.82 after just a year. Breaking news for Carvana enthusiasts, Carvana's stock takes a tumble, dropping by 5.02% on Thursday. Brace yourselves as we dive into the latest update on Carvana. On the last trading day, Thursday, October 5, 2023, Carvana's stock price experienced a significant decline of 5.02%, plummeting from $37.63 to $35.74. This downward trend has persisted for four consecutive days. Throughout the day, the stock witnessed a fluctuation of 9.02%, ranging from a low of $34.71 to a high of $37.84. Shockingly, the stock has fallen in 7 out of the last 10 days, resulting in a staggering 16.69% decrease over this period. Notably, the trading volume surged by 3 million shares on the last day, despite the falling prices. This sudden spike in volume could indicate an impending risk that may persist over the next few days. Overall, a total of 8 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to a whopping $284.88 million. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. Over the past 52 weeks, Carvana's stock hit a peak of $57.19 and reached a low point of $3.55. Presently, the stock is trading at a considerable 37.51% discount from its 52-week high, equivalent to a $21.45 decrease. Furthermore, it is an astonishing 90.52% lower than its all-time high, which was achieved on August 10, 2021 when the stock price soared to an impressive $376.83. Are you ready for some exciting news? Get ready to hear about the latest analyst ratings for CVNA. On Monday, September 18, 2023, Wedbush made a significant announcement. They gave CVNA a neutral grade but with an upgrade action. But that's not all. Jeffries also chimed in with their analysis. They gave CVNA a hold grade but with a downgrade action. William Blair also had something to say. They gave CVNA a market perform grade, but unfortunately, it came with a downgrade action. Evercore ISI joined in the discussion too, giving CVNA a neutral grade. However, it also came with a downgrade action. And finally, let's not forget about Cowan and company. They had some exciting news for CVNA, giving it an outperform grade along with an upgrade action. 
Welcome, fellow investors. Today, we're diving into the world of Carvana stock and what analysts have to say about it. Now, let's get straight to the point. Analysts have given Carvana a general rating of neutral. But what does that really mean for us? Well, when it comes to the P-E ratio, analysts are leaning towards a sell rating. And as for the price to book ratio, it's also a sell. Does this make you think twice about investing? But let's not lose hope just yet. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given Carvana stock a rating of neutral. There might still be potential in this company. So, fellow investors, what's your take on Carvana stock? Are you ready to dive in or are you skeptical about its future? Let me know in the comments below. Hey there, let's dive into the signals for Carvana. Unfortunately, the technical positive signals are currently scarce. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a more negative forecast for the Carvana stock, giving us a sell signal. Additionally, the relation between these two signals indicates a general sell signal as the long-term average is above the short-term average. We might also encounter some resistance at the price levels of $39.27 and $44.42, but if the stock breaks above them, it could issue by signals. However, we must note that a sell signal was recently issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, September 14, 2023, resulting in a minus 36.02% decrease. It seems like the stock might fall further until a new bottom pivot is found. On another note, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also suggests a sell signal at the moment. Interestingly, volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign that the stock should be closely monitored. Looking for some interesting signals? Well, here are a few you won't want to miss. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, it's showing a strong sell signal. Next up, we have the pivots, indicating a sell signal 16 days ago. How about the Bollinger? It gave a buy signal a whopping 455 days ago. Don't forget to check out the short-term moving average, it's showing a buy signal 6 days ago. And the long-term moving average? It's giving a sell signal 13 days ago. Now, let's talk about the relationship between the short and long moving averages, it's been signaling a buy 9 days ago. Moving on to the 12-month chart, we see the short moving average indicating a sell signal 13 days ago. But wait, the long-term moving average is giving a buy signal 107 days ago. And the relationship between the short and long moving averages? It's showing a strong buy signal 160 days ago. Make sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more exciting signals. Attention all investors. Let's talk about the support, risk, and stop loss for Carvana. Picture this. Carvana has found support from accumulated volume at $35.57. Now, this level presents a golden buying opportunity. Why, you ask? Well, when support is being tested, we can expect an upwards reaction. So, keep an eye out for that. Now, here's something you need to know. This stock is not for the faint of heart. It's what we call, very high risk. With its volatility, it can make some serious moves during the day. And get this, the Bollinger Band is giving us a hunch that this stock has a very large prediction interval. Exciting, right? Let's crunch some numbers. Just yesterday, the stock moved a whopping $3.13 between its high and low, which amounts to a breathtaking 9.02%. And that's not all. Over the past week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 7.37%. So, buckle up. Welcome, traders. Today, we're going to explore the exciting world of Carvana and uncover some potential trading opportunities. But before we jump into that, let's lay the foundation by understanding some crucial fundamental data. First up, we have the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is a powerful tool that compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. Now, a negative P-E ratio might raise some eyebrows. It indicates that the company either has negative earnings or is currently operating at a loss. While temporary setbacks are common for even established companies, continuous negative P-E ratios could signal potential financial risks, including the dreaded possibility of bankruptcy. 
Hold on tight. We've got some exciting news coming your way. The eagerly awaited earnings report for Q3 2023 is just around the corner, scheduled for November 1, 2023. Analysts have their predictions in, and boy, are they interesting. The consensus estimates currently stand at a staggering minus 85 cents. These numbers have the power to greatly impact the stock prices, so you better keep a close eye on them. Welcome, traders. Today, we'll dive into the exciting world of day trading and explore potential levels for Carvana. Picture this, Carvana is on an upward trend, and we've got our eyes on the first resistance level at $37.68. If you're not in the game yet, consider waiting for this level to break before taking action. And for those already on board, this could be your chance to swing trade like a pro. Now, let's shift gears and explore the downside. Carvana encounters its first support level at $35.57. Keep a close watch on this level because if it holds, it might just be the perfect entry point for a rebound play. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Carvana, and we've got some interesting insider trading information to share with you. But first, let's talk about the overall sentiment towards Carvana. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Carvana is neutral. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, let's take a closer look at some recent insider trades that have caught our attention. On September 29, 2023, Ernest C. Garcia III made an insider sell of a whopping 16,859 shares of Class A common stock. That's quite a move. And just two days later, on October 1, 2023, Garcia struck again with another insider sell, this time of 175 shares of Class A common stock. But Garcia wasn't the only one making moves. Paul W. Bro also conducted an insider sell on October 1, selling 119 shares of Class A common stock. Daniel J. Gill and Benjamin E. Houston joined the party too, both conducting insider sells on October 1st, Gill sold 185 shares, while Houston sold 173 shares of Class A common stock. With these insider trades in mind, we've calculated the insider power for Carvana. And guess what? It's positive. The insider power ratio stands at an impressive 94.458. But that's not all. In the last 100 trades, insiders purchased a staggering 7,794,336 shares and sold 196,628 shares. That's certainly worth noting. Hold your breath, folks. We're about to reveal the shocking truth about this stock. Brace yourself for a negative evaluation with a twist, no stop loss has been set. Are you wondering if Carvana stock is worth buying? Well, let's dive into the analysis. While there have been some positive trends, it's important to note that the Carvana stock is currently facing several negative signals. Based on our evaluation, we believe that Carvana may perform weekly in the upcoming days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative outlook on this stock. Even though there have been some minor weaknesses in the technical picture, our analysis has led us to downgrade our previous conclusion from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. However, it's worth noting that our systems have detected that the current price of Carvana stock is undervalued. Looking ahead to Friday, October 6th, we anticipate Carvana to open up $0.357 and begin trading at $36.10. Before we dive into the exciting world of trading, let's address an important reminder. Trading can be risky, and it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. At StockInvest.us, we provide you with valuable information, but please remember that your investment choices are your own responsibility. Hey there, fellow traders. Are you ready to dive into the exciting world of stocks? Join us as we take a closer look at our current view of the stock. We want to hear from you too. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your target for this stock? We're eager to know. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trading content. 
Wishing you all the best in your trading journey and hoping you have a fantastic day. From all of us here at Stock Invest, cheers.